guys, welcome to Let Me Some Cooking with Vicki. Today, we're using your mama's leftover Easter ham. <laughs> we're gonna make chicken cordon bleu uh, hoagies. So what we're gonna use today is chicken tenders, your mama's leftover ham, Swiss cheese, gray poupon, Dijon mustard, a little mayonnaise in the hoagie bun before we put these all together, and a little lettuce, salt and garlic pepper. That's it, okay? And then we're gonna have french fries with it too, but y'all know how to make those. So my mom pushes this down my throat. <laughs> before I leave, I have to take a bag of Georgie's ham. So I've got the ham sitting here, I've got the chicken tenderloins. These are just basically like chicken tenders that aren't cooked from your grocery store. So what we're gonna do is I've got my skillet going with about a quarter cup of oil, not a lot. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my salt. And you wanna apply this liberally. I know you might even think, oh, she's putting too much on here, but really you're not. Because it really has, it's bland. Chicken is very bland, just like pork. There's no flavor to it. So we're gonna put a little kosher salt, my garlic pepper, because I love me some garlic. Put this on here, and then we'll fluff it up. You know, really and truly, I think it's kind of cool to utilize your mom's leftover ham that she put all that love into to make for you. And then you can, like I said, Easter's over. Now your refrigerator don't smell like some, with all the deviled eggs are gone, it don't smell like somebody backed the rear up against it and pulled their finger and shut the door, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> That really is how uh, double egg smell kind of lift through the moment and it's done and over with. So we've got these seasoned wonderfully. We are all ready to go into this hot skillet. Okay guys, we got our chicken going. Like I said, it doesn't take but about five or six minutes to do. It really does because it's white meat and it cooks faster than dark meat. So now we're just going to get this ham cut up into bite-sized pieces. Ooh, that chicken sounds good. All right. Got our ham done. Let's go check on... Beautiful. Look how pretty and brown that is. Like I said, it goes fast. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let these drain on a paper lined paper or a paper towel lined plate, and then we're going to go ahead and put every cut these up, same size as we have our ham, put them back in the pot or back in the pan, add our shredded Swiss cheese and our Dijon mustard. Now let me tell you, our shredded Swiss cheese that I use today, normally I buy it pre-packaged, make it easier on yourself. But I noticed that they wanted almost four dollars a bag for shredded Swiss cheese at Kroger's, and I was able to buy the big block for like three bucks. So I saved about a dollar, dollar and a half by spending it myself. So save money where you can. And like I said, this is a fast, quick meal, whether it's before or after soccer or after church on a Sunday. And it's very good. And your mama would be proud because then you didn't let that ham grow sweet in your refrigerator and get mold on it, my mama saying, walk out of here. We're using it. <laughs> guys and you're done. Look how pretty. Look, I could eat this all by itself. Put them on a paper lined. Why can't I say that right? Paper towel lined plate. You say that 10 times and tell me if you can't. You can get it out of your mouth. Now we're going to have to let these cool down for a minute because I don't feel like cussing right now. Because <laughs> that will be hot. Alright, just put that inside there. But look at how yummy these are. Completely done. Like I said, white meat goes fast. And then we're going to add this to the skillets. We're going to let that kind of cool down for just a second. I'd say about five more minutes we can start chopping and putting it all together. All right, guys. I think they're all ready. So we're just going to take our chopped ham, put it back in our skillet here. I just went ahead and wiped the grease out. So you don't even have to wash it, moms. Look how cool that is. And single dance. <laughs> Barney. He smells chicken and ham. But you know, chicken corn on blue sandwiches, or when you make them, you pound out a chicken breast and you lay your uh, ham in there and your Swiss cheese and your Dijon mustard. And so we're just doing the same thing, just in a sandwich form. 
So we're just going to cut up this chicken. I'll give you a piece in a minute. <laughs> This is so tender and juicy, oh my gosh. Usually I have to make a bunch of these because my kids are around and they come and grab them, but they're upstairs playing. All right. Let me get my little piece of my little doggy sit. Yeah, everybody likes it. <laughs> so now we've got our ham and our chicken in there, and we're just gonna give it a couple squirts of Grey Poupon. Do y'all remember that commercial? Or am I showing my age? <laughs> I'd say about four tablespoons worth. Four little squirts. And then we're going to get this going, then we're just going to fold in this cheese. Alright. And all you have to do at this point is just heat it through. That's it. But before I add the cheese, I want to make sure that every piece is coated with that mustard. Good to me. Like I said, this is just a one big block of Swiss cheese that I shredded myself. And I love me some cheese, so I'm doing the whole thing. <laughs> Why not? Oh. And Swiss cheese melts so pretty. And we're done. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put a little mayonnaise inside my bun here. <laughs> ah, that's a freebie. I'll let you have that one. Ah, that's good stuff. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. shoot, this is gonna be good. And you're making your mama proud because then you can tell her you actually did eat the leftovers that you took home from her house. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gravy. Mm -mm -mm. A little lettuce on top. And just a few french fries. Like I said, you don't have to do a fantastic meal and trust me, my kids like this a lot. This is a really kid-friendly dish, so you guys will love it. So, like I said, please follow me on uh, YouTube, and I want to just tell you guys from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all of the views that you guys have done at, for, for looking at my videos. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. So continue to follow me, and like I said, look guys, you really can now because there's no excuse. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.